Well, new at 11, Governor J.B. Pritzker is in Washington, D.C. this morning as President Biden signed the Chips and Science Act into law. Fundamental change is taking place today, politically, economically, and technologically. Today is a day for builders. Today, America is delivering. It will invest more than $200 billion in the next five years to boost American computer chip manufacturing. It's meant to lower costs and make the U.S. less reliant on foreign manufacturing and lead. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai over Chakodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, today, I want to get into a lesson on how King Biden all right, just signed this new bill. Okay, which is um, called the Chips and Science Act, which is to um, boost U.S. production of microchips. Okay, instead of you know relying on foreign, you know entities. All right, to produce these, you know microchips, it's going to be done here in the states. All right, and you see, this is a. Uh, this is, you know, prophecy coming into play, all right? You see, what's happening is Revelation 13 and 16 is fast approaching, okay? It's fast approaching because, you know, this act, with this act being put in, in, into place, this is going to help produce, okay, the mark, basically, that's spoken about in Revelation 13 and 16, you see? Which... We know that the mark are those, you know, microchips, all right? Simple as that. Okay? Simple as that. And um, we know that's going to tie everything in, okay? Oh, let me say this real quick. Pay attention to what these, you know, politicians are saying. Because I'll say this. Every single word that they say has a meaning to it. Okay, and the reason why I bring that out is because he made a a very um a very heavy point. Okay, he said that you know th you know things are going to change, and what did he say? Politically, economically, and technologically. Okay, and basically what he's saying is, you know, is that they're, they're, they're producing these you know. They're going to um, produce these chips, okay? Because at some point, what's going to happen? These things are going to be forced on the, uh, onto the people, all right? Because you know that they're going to eventually force the people, okay, into having these, you know, these, you know, uh, uh, chips inserted into the, into their flesh, Okay, and that's going to, you know, pretty much set up the new, you know, uh, 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 um, the new system of pay. All right. That digital, you know, currency. All right. You see, you see how everything ties in. All right. A, 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 a technologically, they, they're, you know, they're, they're setting everything up. You know, these things are going to be produced in, you know, mass amounts. Okay. Hey, politically speaking, they're, they're, they're going to force it onto the people. And then economically, hey, you're going to need that, you know, to uh, function in this place. To buy or sell. All right? But see, hey, we the prophets, hey, we've been looking for this. You know, we've been, you know, looking at these signs because they're all very important. Okay? Because we know that, hey, that this is going to come to pass at some point. Like I said, this is a major sign right here. You know? This is Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch. And that's what we do as the men of the Lord. We're watching, observing things, paying attention. Okay? 
Hey, because, you know, what we do is we give uh, our spiritual news reports. Right? Hey, that, 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 that's a spiritual news report. Or no, I'll say this. What I'm doing is a spiritual news report on that particular news report. You know? See? It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me up upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh will answer me and say, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision, meaning the prophecies, is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. And you see, whatever the um, whatever is written in the scriptures, it will come to pass. Okay? You know? Because you got to remember, the, the Most High is not man, and he shall not lie. So whatever he said in the scriptures, it will, you know, uh, 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 come to pass. It will play out at some point. It says, though it tarry, even though it seems like it's delaying, right? Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You see, we as, you know, as the followers and believers of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, we just have to wait and be patient. Because look, at some point, the things that are written will be fulfilled, all right? And one of the things is this here in Revelation, the, thir uh, the 13th chapter, starting at the 16th verse. It says here, and he causeth all, and that word causeth is uh, the Greek word pieo, which means to form, fashion, or construct. Okay, meaning that it's not, an, uh, th these things are done not organically. Okay, this is, you know, basically man-made. And that's what Esau is going to do with all these events that are you know taking uh, um that are taking place that he's behind it's going to force the people to do this okay it's going to cause them to do to do this particular thing and what is that let's keep, continue reading and he causes all both small and great doesn't matter your age okay um rich rich and poor doesn't matter your economic status Free and bond, doesn't matter if you're walking out on the streets freely or in jail, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? And that mark, when you, you know, go into it, all right, goes into uh, basically a cutting or an incision of the, uh, uh, of the flesh. Okay? Or an inc uh, yeah, a cutting of the flesh. So you can insert something. All right? You see, and in order to uh, to to to, um, to you know uh, get that you know that chip in you, you have to do what? Got to cut your flesh open so they can insert it in you. Okay, so it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and then no man might buy or sell. Okay, see very soon. Cash is going to be completely obsolete. Look, your debit cards are going to be obsolete. Hey, your um, your Apple Pay, your Android Pay is going to be obsolete. Look, if you don't have that, you know, that chip, okay. If you don't have that in you, you you you're not going to be able to you know purchase things or sell things, okay. And it says. And then no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of, of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six, which is six six six. All right. So point being though is, you know, you're gonna have to have that. Okay. You know, you're gonna have to have that chip, man. You see. You know, we're getting into that time period where it's going to start being forced upon the people. See, now the pre they're, they're, they're going to start uh, uh, producing these things in, in, in mass, you know, amounts. Okay? See, see, Esau knows he has a short time, so he's going to, you know, come down with that wrath. He, wrath. He's got to get things going, man. See? Alright, but um, that's pretty much it, man. You know, hey, this is uh, some good news. All right, this is some good news for, uh, you know, for us, you know, the, the followers and believers of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, because before, 
you know, Yahweh sends his son, Yahweh Shai, which, you know, Yahweh Shai is our Lord and Savior. All right, before Yahweh sends Yahweh Shai, you know, these things have to come to pass first. You know? These events must take place. You know, World War Three, chaos throughout the world, and this being forced upon the people, man. All right? But, um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to uh, end this lesson. Don't want to make it too long, you know, straight to the point. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.